everybody, it's Tracy L. Turner. Welcome back to my channel. It's really late right now and I just came back from roller skating, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> so forgive me if I look and or sound kind of out of it or tired. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have another chance to film this week, so I wanted to just go ahead and squeeze in this while I could, even though it's super late, so, anyway, um, I wanted to share with you what I'm working on right now, which is this painting, this human heart piece that I have, uh, it's just on gesso board, super thin, uh, and I covered the surface with silver leaf and then just started the painting from there. I wanted to share this mainly because I'm really stuck on it and I think um, this is part of, a part of the creative process that maybe isn't always shared but is super important because we always go through it as artists for sure. Um, with this one in particular I thought that I was really on a roll and everything's coming together. I love this background. I like the shape of the heart. Everything was going well. This purple was banging. And then I started um, the coloring in these atriums here in the painting. And the original paint, uh, color was this really kind of dusty, yellow, goldish kind of color. Uh, I'll try to show a, a little... Um, picture maybe somewhere on the screen for you to give you an idea of where I was going with it at first. Uh, I didn't like it so I started scraping out that color um, but since then I've been just a little bit lost on about what to do with that color. So this uh, so the, this kind of I don't know sea foam greenish kind of aqua marine color I started adding in there. That color was, I just had an abundance of that particular color mixed on my palette. I don't know why I mixed that much of it, <laughs> but uh, I just had this extra paint there. And so I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll just slap it in here and see how that works. Uh, I think, well, I definitely like, definitely like it better than the color that was there. I'm not sure it's quite there yet. I think it's it's getting there, but it's just not where I want it to be right now, and it's very frustrating. Uh, in the meantime, I've just kind of taken a break from it. Uh, I've started working on it this past week, and I don't know. I think I just was having an off week in general, and once things started downturning for me in this painting, it just kind of it just never recovered. So I decided I would just take a step back and instead just start prepping other surfaces for future paintings. So, for example, I have a smaller board that I started prepping. So I have the uh, metallic background now and the little texture that I added on there. Really simple, you know, non-committal. I mean, nothing has actually started with it as far as an underpainting. So um, it's, it's got a little bit of a brain break from this heart painting. So uh, usually that's what I do when I get a little bit stuck on a piece. Um, instead of just taking a full-on break and avoiding the studio, I'll still work on something just so I'm being productive, though I may not actually start a new painting in the midst of a project that's already started. I mean, I think maybe some people do that and it works for them. I don't typically like to start a new painting in the middle of another one. Um, I think that kind of thing is a personal preference. Uh, I don't know if, I mean, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Um, maybe it's very neutral. I think for me, 
it's it's a little overwhelming so I try I try not to start another painting while while I'm in the middle of another but um I don't know I'm so stuck on this one painting I might just go ahead and uh really ditch it and start another painting just so I can keep going and not stay so stagnant or, or not force it as well not force myself to work on something when the solution isn't quite there yet um I would like to know what you think well, what do you do when you get stuck on a piece that or any sort of creative project that you're working on do breaks work for you how long do you take a break do you just scrap it all together and start on something else for a while and come back to it when you feel like it. Uh, I think for this one, uh, I'm getting antsy about it. I really do want to finish it since I, again, I don't like to start <laughs> another painting in the middle of something else. Uh, I, I, I feel a little bit tethered to this <laughs> um, before starting something else. So I really do want to try to get this going or close to done before the end of the week but we'll see I'm planning on going out of town maybe this weekend so I might not get that much farther with it but I wanted to just share what's going on what's you know what the action has been in the studio so far uh, but yeah definitely share with me your thoughts about being stuck and how do you what do you do how do you get out of that how do you especially if you're a painter how do you paint yourself out of a corner I definitely feel like I've I've done that to myself here and normally I'm really good at stepping up to the challenge and figuring out something in a pretty you know fairly quickly manner but this time I don't know, this one really has me stumped, and it's frustrating, but also very inviting as far as the challenge of figuring it out from here. So, yeah, hopefully next time I come to you, this piece will be figured out, or if not, very close to finished. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, check back for the next step in this piece. Or maybe I'll have something totally new altogether. We'll find out. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Bye.